Dave Roberts is making some serious claims about her ex-boss. Diane Porter filed a formal complaint with the county last week. She says Roberts had employees do campaign work and offered raises and promotions in exchange for misleading government officials. She also says Roberts had an inappropriate relationship with another staff member. Porter left her job with the county last month. She's threatening to sue unless she's given a lump sum payment of a quarter of a million dollars. Roberts has responded to the allegations in a statement saying, quote, I am disheartened to see the allegations contained in one former employee's complaint. This claim contains many inaccuracies. I am confident the inaccuracies will be proven for what they are. Well, political analyst John Dadian is here. He's been closely following the story, and uh, he's got his take on all of this. John, thanks for coming in. We do appreciate, appreciate your time this morning. Just give me your thoughts when you hear sort of both, both sides of the story. Well, it's a bad situation getting worse, and like uh, similar to many scandals, Every day a new story comes out, and you know, when his statement that one employee, well, there's been several there's now. Been several, right? And there's been several that have left that haven't commented, but there's still that aura about why did they leave so suddenly, and there is an exodus from the office. So all these things are adding up, plus the wave's getting bigger as far as every day seems like somebody new does call for the resignation. Recently, it's the uh, mayor of Escondido, which is a large city in that district, so that's why it's important. And the UT San Diego has suspended, I don't know what that means, but they've suspended their endorsement uh, of him. They had previously endorsed him early for his reelection. Okay, how long has he been on the job? Th this is first term. The county now has term limits, so you can only have two ter terms. He's in his first term. And here's the ironic thing. That's a great question because the ironic point is for the p first two and a half years, everybody, even on the Republican side, has pretty much conceded he's been doing a good job. He's very much out there. He's very active supervisor, one of the most hardworking elected officials I've seen. So for him to be pulled down by this, I think it's a shame for his constituents. Okay, a lot of people have been on the job a long time and then a sort of uh, at the end of their career is when the scandal sort of came to light. Uh, Bob Filner in particular. Are there any comparisons to what the Bob Filner scandal brought to the city is what this could potentially bring to the county? No, uh, there are some similarities in the sense that, you know, I'll talk of partisan politics for a moment. The Democrats in the Filner uh, escapade, they got in the mayor's office for the first time in 20 years and then the scandal put him out. Here, this is the first county supervisor, Democrat, in, in the first time in 20 years when he was elected in the last election, and now it looks like there's a chance that he may be out. So there is some very uh, unfortunate similarities there. Like I said, here's one big difference that I said. I already said he's doing a good job. Keep in mind, Bob Filner did a lot of bad things separate from the scandals. He stopped the uh, money to tourism. He stopped the lobbyists in Washington, D.C. So he was doing a bad things his job. Dave Roberts has been doing a good job but these allegations have to do with his management style and with some of uh, character flaws that are not appropriate in public office. And some of it even goes beyond that, uh, misusing public funds for these baseball cards he had made up with his picture on them. The staff member uh, says that he was using public funds to make to print thousands of these cards. That's just one of many allegations against him. The, the, the use of the public funds to make the cards, I think, can be explained, whether you agree with it or not. However, there is an allegation it's only an allegation that when questions started being raised after the fact, after they paid for them, he told a staff member, make them disappear. That possibly could lead to some serious make charges. Make these baseball cards disappear. That's that, what he was saying. Because uh, if they were paid for with public funds and then he said, make them disappear, if that can be proven he said that, that could be very serious. Okay, let's talk about the next step for this. What do you expect to see happen this week? Well, I, I don't know about this week. Like I said, something different every day. But because the mounting keeps going, the waves keep getting bigger, I think there's a very strong possibility that might be a resignation. Really, there's only some possibilities. He could resign. Um, he could stay in office and not run for re-election. See, that's what really the key is. We're in the campaign season already, and he's up for re-election next year. Here's something we haven't talked about yet. Prior to this, he was going to have a cakewalk. No, re no big-name Republicans were running against him. Now the Republicans see a good chance they could take the seat back. And here's another important point. If there is a reg resignation while he's still in office in San Diego County, the supervisors appoint. So the Republicans could take back their 5-0 uh, control of the Board of Supervisors. Wow, okay. So a we'll lot see of what implications. Happens. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll see what happens as the allegations continue to unfold. But we do want to point out that uh, although Ms. Porter was the one who actually filed a claim, there are at least three to four others who walked off the job and we haven't heard from them yet. That's absolutely correct. And again, that's something similar to the Filner thing. Actually, I hate to say this, it's probably similar to what we saw over the weekend with Bill Cosby. When one person says it, you try to give the person benefit of the doubt. When it's several people, you really start to wonder. And that's what we're seeing here. It's more than one. All right. John Dadian, appreciate your expertise. I know you'll be back to talk Good about to this as uh, we see what happens next. Thanks.